Hey guys, myself Rakesh and in this video we are going to target on JSON serialization. Is there an activity to serialize JSON in UiPath? If not, then how this can be done? Do I need to import a class, for example, newtonsoft.json and do it? So how this can be done, we are going to see. So welcome back to my channel, myself Rakesh and let's get started and go to Yapa Studio and see how this can be done. Before we try to understand JSON serialization, we need to understand what is it. For example, here if I ask you to convert dictionary to a JSON string, you have to convert a dictionary which is a object, right? Which is a .NET object. So from the dictionary, I would like to convert it to a JSON string. So for that, I will be using serialization so how this can be done let's see very quickly so first thing uh, let's the very first thing what we have to do yes we have to import a class called newtonsoft.json just type it here newtonsoft.json and you would find it and hit on enter okay that's all so newton soft.json just select it and it will be getting added into the list that's all we are fine now let's go back to our main window and understand how to do the JSON serialization. For this, the very first thing I need is to create a dictionary variable. Okay, so I'm going to use a assign activity, and in the assign activity, let me try to create a dictionary variable first. So I will say dict1 or dictionary1, and let's change the uh, data type of this to uh, system.collection so that you can find from browse for types so let me type dictionary okay and here you have system dot collection dot generic and i'm going to select string and keep the other thing also a string and hit on okay done all right now here i need to create a dictionary for that i will go to the properties of this activity and write it so how do you initiate a dictionary you will have to simply write new dictionary of of string comma string okay string comma string and i will say from and write the values let's say here we will take a very simple example so i am going to say um, let's say i am going to say name okay the first one the key is name name and comma the second value is um let's say name comma let's say rakesh okay and then let me add another key and value pair and here i am going to say id comma let's say 100 okay so like that there are two different values name rakesh id 100 so this is a dictionary now okay from dictionary how can i convert that to a json string we are going to see in this video so i'm going to hit on okay all right so this is done now the next activity that i i will use is assign activity and here in the assign activity first of all let's focus on the expression that is required for that i'll go to the property panel and here what i have to do because i am using the class newton soft dot json okay i'm taking the class name or the namespace dot and then i'm going to say json convert i want to convert right convert the dictionary to so i will say json convert and here i would like to serialize so anytime you are converting a dot net object i mean a dictionary data table and into a json format so that time i'll be using serialize the opposite thing for example a json you would like to convert into um, um let's say a dictionary or you would like to convert it to a data table that time you have to deserialize okay remember that so here we are making dictionary to a json so i'll be using serialize object okay and within the bracket i'll have to so the output is will come as a string okay or a json string so here i am going to say uh, dictionary one the variable that just now we have created that is the expression that you have to write okay and let's create a variable and let me say json string i'm giving a name called json string okay now let's see this is uh, the variable type is a simple string 
okay json is again a string only right so it's a string data so it will convert into a json format now let's see how this one is appearing message box so let's understand the difference how it was appearing when it was in a dictionary format and how it is appearing in when it converted to a json string okay so i am going to say dictionary variable and here i am going to say um, json string variable okay so let's see the output first okay let me debug so understand everything in detail so you should have a complete uh, visualization of what is serial you know what do you mean by serialization what do you mean by deserialization this should be very clear so now what is happening the first message box is simply saying uh, system dot collection uh, dot generic dot dictionary because it's entirely a dictionary now to to see a dictionary i have to write dictionary dot key use a for each loop and all that okay so you understood this is an entire dictionary now here through the expression it got converted to a json string now you can see the json json will start from a curly braces now you can see it has started having a curly braces name rakesh com id okay so this is a json string now let's say from json string right i would like to see that in a proper json object format you know json will be there in a proper format if i have to do that okay now to do that let me use another activity deserialize so anytime you have to convert a json string to a json object you will be using a deserialize okay and from here i can convert it to a, a data table i can convert it back to dictionary anything you would like to do you can all these things can be done i have i have all these videos okay so here uh, all i am going to pass is the json string and let's write the output uh let's create a variable let's say json object okay the variable has been created now let's see how this json object is coming so i am using the deserialization just to show you the format but this is not necessary once it is converted to json string let's say you would like to update the data into a website all this can be just the json string can be passed so it will do just to show you in the right format i am doing it okay otherwise this is not required let me run it let's see now look at the format how this is going to change into a proper format now okay what is a json object what is a json array so all this examples i have shown you look at it now the output is coming in a proper format now you can say curly braces then below that it is written name id all that okay so this deserialization is not required when you have to convert a dictionary or a data table you know you have to use this method newton soft dot json serialize okay uh, json convert dot serialize so this is the expression what is more important let me show you the expression once again okay this expression is more important and you got to see how this one is working so thank you guys for watching if you have any questions please do ask me in the comment section okay i will try to answer your questions so let me know can you convert in this example uh, i have converted a dictionary to a data table will you be able to convert there is a question for you will you be able to convert uh, a data table into a json string you know using a similar format so try this out and let me know if somebody is able to do it simply say yes you are able to convert it if not i will try to create a content okay so let me know if you have any questions please ask your questions in the comment section i will try to reply to that thank you guys we are going to meet once again in the next content bye bye